If she's brought back to life in 200 years she may not remember who she is, father of cancer girl, 14, who as first British child to be cryogenically frozen fears his dead daughter will be alone in America. The father of 14-year-old girl who is the first British child to be cryogenically frozen fears she could be woken in 200 years all alone in America, with no memory and no family. The teenager, who cannot be named, died last month and is now in a cryostat tank at around 196C, 321F, inside the Michigan-based Cryonics Institute, it can be reported for the first time today. She was at the center of a fierce legal battle between her divorced parents, with her mother agreeing to her wish to be frozen while her estranged father refused because of its £37,000 cost and the brutal process of preserving her. He told the High Court, even if the treatment is successful and she is brought back to life in, let's say, 200 years, she may not find any relative and she might not remember things. She may be left in a desperate situation, given that she is still only 14 years old, and will be in the United States of America. During the landmark case she wrote an extraordinary letter to a judge while on her deathbed. She said, I am only 14 years old and I don't want to die but I know I am going to die. I want to live and live longer and I think that in the future they may find a cure for my cancer and wake me up. I want to have this chance. This is my wish. I think being cryopreserved gives me a chance to be cured and woken up, even in hundreds of years time. I don't want to be buried underground. The antifreeze solution is used so that ice crystals do not form and damage any cells. The body is then cooled down to about 0.5 degrees Celsius every hour until the final temperature of minus 196 degrees Celsius achieved over three weeks then the frozen body is stored. According to experts, there is no evidence that a whole human body can survive the process. Cryopreservation is a remarkable technology which allows us to store living cells, almost indefinitely, at ultra-low temperatures said Professor Barry Fuller, professor in surgical science and low-temperature medicine at UCL.